What was the race of the ancient Romans, and in particular what was their ethnic composition? I welcome you to my YouTube channel where I explore ancient texts, and ancient texts here I mean texts that have been around for thousands of years. At the moment I'm going through from the founding of the city by Titus Livius or Livy. This is a collection of books that was written about 2000 years ago and it covers the history of Rome from the founding of the city by Romulus around the year 750 BCE to the time when Augustus was the emperor which was close to 0 AD. If you have not subscribed, subscribe so that you do not miss any of the videos I publish. Like any other nation that has ever existed, the ethnic composition of ancient Rome evolved over time, and it was also extremely complex. The initial founders of the city, and in particular Romulus, were Latins from Alba Longa. The Latins themselves came into existence through a chance meeting of two distinct tribes from two different continents. The first tribe was what Livy describes as aboriginal to the land we know today as Italy. This tribe was under the leadership of an individual who went by the name Latinus. The second was a group of refugees who came from Troy, a city that existed on the west coast of modern-day Turkey. The Trojans, as they were called, had a war going on with the Greeks, and their city fell. And when that happened, one of the princesses of the city, Aeneas, the son of Achaenses, and Venus, left with a part of the population, and they traveled west to Italy. When Aeneas arrived in Italy, there was a little tension between his group and that of Latinus when they met for the first time. Soon though, a peace agreement was signed, and to cement it, Latinus offered Aeneas Lavinium his daughter for marriage. This new alliance and marriage triggered war with the neighboring tribe of Rutulians. Latinus had previously promised to have Lavinia married Trurnus, the king of Rutulians. When he heard that Lavinium had gotten married to someone else, Turnus decided to punish Latinus and his new son-in-law for this. During a battle between the Rutulians and the alliance of Latinus and Aeneas, Latinus was killed. To honor him and also make it easier to rule over the aboriginal tribe, Aeneas created a new identity for the merged group. He called it the Latins. Aeneas founded the city of Lavinium, named after his wife. It is his son Ascanius who founded Alba Longa, the initial most powerful Latin city. Alba Longa city existed for close to 400 years before the founding of Rome in the 750s BCE. Romulus himself came from the lineage of Latinus, Aeneas, and Ascanius. His own grandfather, Nomita, the father to Rea Silva, his mother, had served as king before he was deposed by his brother Amulius. When Romulus and Remus, his twin brother, left Alba Longa to go build a new city, they were accompanied by many Latins, mostly male shepherds. It was, however, clear to Romulus that they needed women in the city for it to grow and prosper. But every neighboring city they approached, requesting to be allowed to marry their daughters, declined the request. Romulus resorted to a plan to steal women from the neighboring cities. Rome organized a magnificent religious festival and invited their neighbors, who came with their families. The cities that came included Cainina, Crustumimium, and Antemnae. While the families were distracted by their ongoing suckers, the Roman soldiers attacked and took away all the young women. This of course created a conflict with its neighbors, especially the Sabines, and it led to a battle that was ended by the stolen women themselves, who stood between their husbands, the Romans, and their fathers and brothers, the Sabines mostly. After the war had stopped, some of these neighbors chose to move to Rome to become citizens and to be close to their daughters. Most of the kings that came after Romulus, in particular Tullus Ostulius, Lucius Tarquinius Priscus, Savius Tullius, and Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, often conquered neighboring tribes and made them citizens of Rome. These included the Sabines, Etruscans, Veantines, Hanicans, Aquae, and the Latins who had stayed back in Alba Longa. Also, some people from the region and other parts of the world did come to Rome of their own volition and they were made citizens. Lucius Tarquinius Priscus was a Greek who came from Tarquini in the lands of Etruscans and ended up becoming a king. The father of the Claudian family, Autius Clausius or Appius Claudius, came from the land of the Sabines and he was elected senator and the family became a prominent patrician family. We can say that Romans as a tribe came into being through the mixing of numerous ethnic groups some coming from as far as Turkey and Greece. It is important to point out that while all these tribes mixed to create a single identity of Romans, the city ended up having a long-standing feud between the patricians, the ruling class, and the plebeians, the commons. While these two groups largely share a century, they came to view themselves as distinct not only in terms of political and economic organization, but also socially. I'll explore this in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, take a moment to strike the like button. See you in the next video.